This video is brought to you by DICE, the global entertainment content marketplace. Welcome back to our Fantastic Five series. In this video, we are going to explore five psychological thriller flicks from our wide content catalog. So, if you're a buyer and wish to acquire any of these titles, or you're a seller looking to get your content out to a global audience, you can get in touch with us through our website, connect.digital, or you can email us at diasales at connectdigital.com. Without further ado, let's get into our five psychological thriller picks for the month. Hades follows the twisted actions of a rich man who enjoys psychologically torturing the victims he chooses to prey upon. His latest victim is a vulnerable woman. Living poorly and her life seemingly insignificant, she plans to leave the world which has given her nothing but pain. But life has other plans, as chance puts them on the same path. He has found the perfect victim for whom he has complete power over, as he has the right of life and death over her. Our protagonist realises she cares more about her life than she initially thought. He gives her a tough choice though. He must kill. If not her, then she must find another victim for him. She must make a tough choice, depending on how much she values her own life. Hades is the perfect psychological thriller for those looking for a gripping story with twists and turns throughout. Five strangers wake up in an abandoned warehouse. They can't seem to remember who they are, how they got there, or anything about what's going on. The story quickly becomes sinister as the quintet realise that they are part of a sick and twisted game. They're trapped in the middle of nowhere, with no one coming to save them. Their only hope of survival is to remember who they are, as that might be the only way to figure out why they've been placed here and ultimately may help them escape the hell that they've been placed in. Waiting Room captures the essence of what makes thriller movies so exhilarating to watch, keeping you on the edge of your seat with suspense as the clock ticks down for these five strangers. Followed is a film that follows the journey of David and Rachel as they move across the US to Colorado. David wants to document the journey from start to finish as he has planned a surprise for Rachel once they reach their new home. He's going to propose. The two set off in high spirits, but begin to notice that they are being followed across the country by a strange man. Initially unconcerned, assuming that their encounters with a stranger must be coincidental, the trip quickly turns sour as they begin experiencing a strange turn of events that have them worried for their own safety. So what is the technical term for someone who could do something like this? Well, the clinical terminology that we use is a psychopath. This guy's been following us since Colorado. I want to get out of here right now. Come on, quick! Let's get the car! Lock the door! Turn the camera off. Who are you? Why are you following us? David? Hello? David? David? Enchanted is a short thriller movie which follows Oliver as he makes Lucy his muse for his photography. As the scenes go on, Oliver's behaviour becomes more erratic as he enacts violent behaviours towards Lucy in an attempt to capture the perfect piece of art. With zero dialogue, Enchanted expresses its horror through phenomenal cinematography and a dramatic score, which tells us more than words ever could. This way of approaching a thriller film really gives the viewer something fresh and unique, moving the genre forward to a new era of psychological horror. Yes. 
Roy and his young prodigy, Eric, run an illegal assisted suicide service. Roy believes in helping the permanently ill, while Eric believes that it is their life and theirs to do as they desire. On their next secret meeting, a journalist stumbles upon their activity and starts spying on them. A young woman, Jenny, asks for their help to end her life, but Eric has a personal interest. The journalist pressures them for an interview and Roy starts to feel threatened, while Eric becomes more and more obsessed with Jenny. These two women both test their relationship and their moral boundaries with terrifying results. Give the money back. What? That's not what we do. You know, I'm not stupid. This has nothing to do with intelligence. This has to do with morality. Did anybody see you? We gotta get out of here. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Maybe I've just opened my eyes for the first time. What do you think of our choices? Let us know down in the comments below. As always, you can get in touch with us through our website, connect.digital, or you can email us at diesales at connectdigital.com for business inquiries. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Have a great day.